Active Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. How long does it take for high-dose insulin for calcium channel blocker or beta blocker overdose to start working? High-dose insulin therapy has emerged as a preferred treatment of cardiogenic shock induced by calcium channel blockers or beta blockers. When used at doses 10 times that of a normal anti-diabetic dose, insulin has positive inotropic effects even in the presence of beta blocker or calcium channel blocker toxicity. High-dose insulin therapy also improves the poison patient's response to vasopressors and provides lasting effects on hemodynamic stability. It's important to note that the hemodynamic response to high-dose insulin does not occur until 15 to 45 minutes after initiation. Maximal use of other therapies must be employed while the effects of high-dose insulin therapy kick in. Members of my Hospital Pharmacy Academy have access to my masterclass training on high-dose insulin euglycemia for calcium channel blocker and beta blocker overdose, which covers the background, use, and weaning of high-dose insulin, as well as a sample protocol. To access this and over 30 other trainings, go to PharmacyJoe.com academy.